Welcome back to Eureka Farms for episode 15 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, where are we at? Here, at Eureka Farms, Goham Industries Research and Development Division. A little bit has changed since last you saw me. It's now midday of the next day. Animals are still producing well. I'm thinking of buying some more. Money has gone up dramatically, as you should have already seen. I've done a load more contracts. We should be up to how many contracts complete? 66 now, so we've been keeping ourselves nice and busy i've got a sewing contract active at the moment that is being done by a worker our three harvesters all over there they've all got their new headers i bought them at the end of the last episode so they've been collected the lease ones have been swapped out we have a second factory built now we have a boards factory laminate boards factory so once the poplars are ready and they're, st they're still not they just don't want to finish growing we're not far off um, we will get some poplars done and the wood chip will go into there to make laminate boards. The sugar production is going very nicely. All the grass we planted has grown. We have loads now and it looks absolutely fantastic. I've just cleaned out the, uh, mucked out the animals, not mucked them out, but um, done the mess in their food areas. Actually, you know what I will do while we're here. So, title of the episode, disclaimer. Obviously I'm on Eureka Farms. And we have discussed various different things regarding TNT. Um, I spoke to uh, TNT, well, over the last few days, actually. And I, d I didn't want this to come across as arrogant. I spoke to him about it to say the same thing, but I was really, really concerned. It kind of suddenly hit me. I don't know why, just, you know. Everything that's been going on with regards to TNT, with um, his ban, then being allowed back on, then updates to all his maps that I was in some way responsible, partly responsible for um, that happening because I've been doing this series and you know, not that Giants even watch my series or you know they know I exist, of course they do, but um, that because I was highlighting all of the sort of mad bonkers off the wall stuff that that kind of flagged up to them. He came back and said, look, no, it wasn't, it wasn't that at all. It was something he did and, you know, not to worry about that kind of thing. But here's the disclaimer. If you are new to this, you're going to see a lot of machinery and equipment. I'm going to talk about being available on this map, Eureka Farms. It's not anymore. Um, if you have got this map installed but haven't done the update, don't do the update. <laughs> if you want to keep all the bonkers equipment, the unrealistic equipment as it's been labelled um, if you do the new updates to all the maps you will lose all the unrealistic equipment it will all go that's part of the deal of him being able to come back was the fact of the unrealistic equipment had to go case in point being yesterday when the couple of mods dropped yesterday the updates one was for Bucks County what they've done is reworded it for Bucks County for Eureka and for um, Blue Mountain Valley it both said removed unrealistic equipment this one says removed unlicensed brands for bucks county as far as i was aware there were no unlicensed brands i think it's just changed the wording on that um removed unrealistic equipment um i'm not going to go into the ins and outs and the who said what's and that kind of thing 
but just so you know if you are watching this and you haven't got Eureka Farms installed what I was really hoping was people would watch this and go oh my that's amazing you know that's fantastic I'm gonna download it and play it the problem now is if you hadn't had it installed before what you're gonna get is the, the vanilla version that doesn't have all this cool stuff as you can see this bucket holds a hundred thousand liters you know for those of you who've been watching this series all along you'll be aware of all the bonkers zany gear and I know a lot of people message me to say well there's no way I'm updating it I'm gonna keep it I'm never gonna take it whichever one they've got Bucks County or you know the original versions I'm keeping them I'm not taking them off because people don't want to lose that ability I know there's there is an argument what I would want to address as well is that there is that argument that people have and it comes out of not being fully aware of the situation I guess ignorance is the wrong word it always makes it sound like people are stupid that's not I don't like using that word I know that's what the meaning of the word is is you know, not having a full understanding of something oh I need to unblank it first of course don't I? Uh, let's do that bunker silo is opened 4,290,000 litres I'm going to sell some but this is going to be the quickest selling I've ever done because that bucket holds 100,000 litres so 10 trips and I've done a million that's awesome yeah now the, the, the point behind it being a lot of people have complained and I'll still complain and do still complain and I, and I totally understand it that if the rules are about manufacturers and companies and the licensing agreements they have with Giants and with Sony and with Microsoft that um, they don't want to see their brands shown in a way that doesn't represent them in the real world which I, I, I get and I spoke to someone else recently as well about this a lot of the old racing games were the same you never used to see damage on vehicles because the manufacturers wouldn't give their permission for vehicles to be used in game because they didn't want to see their cars on a game smashed and crumpled and because it made the, the car and the brand and the image of them look like they're a bad vehicle you know that kind of concept so I, I totally understand that they don't want their vehicles represented in a bad way so the flip side of that argument is people then say well PC get them that's not fair PC get them from third party mod sites they will not get unrealistic mods through the mod hub the mod hub that Giants provide for PC and for, for consoles is all sanctioned it's all okay boxes ticked and um, it's all no problems whatsoever the mad bonkers stuff comes from third party sites which nobody can control no they can't control the the rules and regulations regarding those the manufacturers can't they can't come to giants and be, be angry with giants because giants have no control either from though from that perspective so yeah it's a question because <clears throat> i know quite a few pc players and you know i talk to a lot of pc players oh, i'm up so i'm a pc player myself i don't do videos on my pc but i do play on pc if i just do this volume continuing That'd be weird now if everything stops working. There we go. There we go. Not quite. Come on, you can do the last little bit, surely. Anyway, okay, 100,000 litres. Let's get that in. Um, and what is kind of interesting, I suppose it comes back as well, and again, isn't it? For, every time I say I don't want to be controversial, I end up saying something controversial. Um, <laughs> the, the kind of PC console war that rages, you know. Look at the speed that processes. That is absolutely bazoinkers. But that's, again, as far as I'm aware, that will have been removed. Or I don't know if that would have been removed, would it? Because this is a lizard biogas plant. So potentially the biogas plant will still process quickly. I don't know, actually. It's a fair point. Yeah. So my point is this. There seems to be this kind of feeling that console gamers are a thorn in the side of the game they're annoying and frustrating and they pester modders all the time um, because all they ever want to know is is it coming to console you know i know that's the cut that is the question isn't it um, is it coming to console and i know a lot of extra work has to be done by modders and map makers to get things to console and you know I totally understand that as i've always said cannot thank modders and appreciate modders enough for all they do to do that it's absolutely amazing um and there's this kind of feeling that it's only console gamers that complain about mods or complain, you know, 
that will complain and say things aren't working properly or whatever. Is that the case? I'm, I mean, I I can imagine there are plenty of mods that come through the mod hub. And we, the stuff we get on console through the mod hub, often there are issues and problems and stuff. And, you know, things get updated and things get changed. And that can't just be on console, surely. Surely th there are issues and stuff that pop up on PC mods through the mod hub as well. And probably from third party sites too. So I assume that PC gamers complain as well about mods not working properly and that kind of thing. I just I was just curious because it's that kind of I do still very much get that feeling that it's like, oh yeah, console gamers are just annoying. They're just you know, they're always complaining. They can't be the only people that complain, surely. I was just that's just a thought I had the other day. I was just mulling things over. I don't know. I I I, I totally understand uh, you know why the situations have happened that have happened recently um, you know with Oxygen David being kind of and it's awful to say isn't it allowed back into the fold um, with Chellington being released and they said it wouldn't happen and Oxy was gone and that kind of thing it's a weird time isn't it and then which brings me on to the next thing I was going to talk about and that was um, it's kind of <laughs> I'm, so I don't want to step on DJ's and clutch his toes. I'm doing a farm sim show, you know. <laughs> this episode, this episode is brought to you by the farm sim show. Um, it's the mod situation at the moment. Start of the week, things were a bit bonkers, and I think we had I can't remember how many mods it was got released. Quite a few, um, but it was maps. Well, there was three or four maps again this week. So beginning of the week, I was absolutely inundated and, and trying to get it all done. Then on was it? Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah, Wednesday and Thursday. Or Tuesday and Wednesday, regardless. Uh, we had a load of sheds, and I kind of did a couple of mod reviews, and it was just mostly sheds with a couple of bits of other of, of equipment. Um, but in the mod hub, in testing at the moment, or as of yesterday when I checked, there were only 12 mods, I think it said. 12 mods in testing, and turnaround was one day. Now that mod hub at times has been up to 200 plus mods with a turnaround of like 14, 15 days. Now the mod hub has only got 12 mods. And when it says 12 mods, that's not new mods. Some of those mods will be um, updates. So when you see it's testing 12 mods, you look down the list and think, oh, okay, yeah, but some of those we've had already. So it must be an update that's being tested to be put back out again. Um, what's happening? What is, it's the first time for a long time that I can remember the mods hub being uh, well, uh, yeah, so low on mods and us not getting as many now we've had days where I've done mod reviews of 20 plus mods in a day so it's weird I don't, I'm not quite sure what, what's happening it's not <coughs> it's not a boycott of the mods hub well, I say that I don't think it is it would be pretty impressive if all around the world every modder has decided you know what I'm not going to submit anything um, or whether it's just a quiet period I don't I don't really know and that, again I was just curious I just, what, do, what do people think it's, it's odd isn't it you know I don't know why it's happened but it certainly has happened anyway yeah this is this is crazy and, and amazing and the whole time I'm talking I'm looking at that bucket thing and thousand litres wow um, I am seriously considering as well getting um, another mower I, I splashed out I splurged and I got myself a, a Krona Big M450 I might get a second one I've got a lot of grass to cut now if you recall progress is looking good on that uh, I started off with field 10 was my grass field then I bought eight and nine and made eight a grass field I did the crop on field 9, made that a grass field, so that entire area now, if we go across, that's all grass. As is the grass around my farm, as is the grass around field 3, which doesn't seem like very much, but there's a fair bit up there as well. So uh, that's going to take a while to cut. Even with one sort of 10 metre mower, that's going to take a little while. I'll tell you what I do need to do is check this. So I thought I'd do a job like this while I was just sort of having a bit of a, 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 a ponder and a chat. And, you know, it's always nice to put it to the, uh, to the group, so to speak, and, and see what people think.
Unfortunately, because I don't, I don't know, I've had this conversation before about streaming and why I don't stream regularly and that kind of thing because of, of my how busy my household is and I don't have a dedicated room and that kind of stuff and it's difficult for me to be able to do on a regular basis. Um, this is kind of how I, like when streamers will ask a question on the stream and get immediate responses, mine is a little bit more delayed obviously. <laughs> but I just, just wondered, why is he not picking up the edges properly? Odd. Now, if I want to empty this bunker silo completely, oh there you go, it's a bit better. I can use the loading wagon, because the loading wagon will will work. So what I'm probably going to do is, once I've sold about a million litres, which is my plan, I'm going to do about a million litres. Actually, I better check. Uh, what we are, 373. So within 4 million, 730. Yes, I'm not a million yet, am I? Um, the rest I'm going to put into storage. And we will have cleared this silo out. Which is awesome. Um, I was really hoping that by now, what time is it? 12.20, I was hoping that mid-afternoon the poplars would be ready. So what I'll probably do is... Um, obviously we won't get paid till midnight for what we're putting in here. I honestly cannot believe the processing speed of this. It's absolutely mad. Yeah, so anyway, um, I'm, <laughs> how long am I going to carry on this series? There's a few objectives I want to hit. Like I said, I want to hit a thousand cows. I want to get the poplars done. I want to get some laminate boards being made. I have put sunflower in field three now, and I know a few people mentioned that, said about doing sunflower oil, because people were talking about the factories. And there still appear to be that sort of thing. I think, well, you know, while I've, while I've got you here, uh, we still seem to be having issues. And I've, I've mentioned this a while ago, and... I, I also get the feeling we're at a, a point with um, the game as it stands, with so many different, so many different mods, so many different mod maps, so many different additions to the game that we never had on 17. Are things like the factories packs and all those kind of things, um, which you know add so much to the game for console players. You know, we don't have global company and all that kind of thing, which is amazing. And the fact modders have done it is incredible. Um, but then with the Alpine DLC, the add-on straw harvest, um, precision farming, all those kind of things, we seem to be getting a lot more mod conflicts and mod clashes um, than we have done before. Because you've got to think as well, all of these things have got to interact and work together. Um, and I can only imagine, if you're a mod maker or a map maker, that you're going to test your equipment to make sure it works, or your mod or your map, or whatever, but you can't test it like what I've said when I do mod reviews you can't test everything you can't test it against every mod that's out there if you make a mod you can't test it on every single map you can't you know so sometimes you'll get something will pop up in a bit of coding something somewhere will cause a clash or a problem that wasn't expected and um, that seems to be happening a lot more lately um, Creative Mesh put in an update or some stuff that needs to be updated with regard to the add-on straw harvest because of the problem with the pelletizer hull and the um, and, it, and it becoming kind of this this husk, this ghostly husk and losing the crane and everything else from it and the pelletizer it being a clash with the um, Alpine farming DLC so there was an update for all those things recently for the game but they did say um, that giants would then have to do it would have to be a, a kind of full update because the changes need to be made at base game level because it's to do with the precision farming dlc so it will mean it's whenever giants do an update to the game you will see the changes um what i'm starting by saying well i think we're there now aren't we three three nine oh no why one more um it was to do with the factories pack that there are still a lot of people messaging me um, quite regularly actually saying their animal pens aren't working can't get the animal trigger to work can't get the animal pens to place can't get any animals in it can't you know um, as far as I'm aware um, from all the comments I see and thank you to everyone in the comments um, there's a channel I watch a guy called Garen Thumb um, does um, weapon reviews actually um, and he always says the comment section is out of control and some days it is <laughs> I honestly the comment section is brilliant. 
but I love the fact there's a real community spirit within there as well that people will help each other so a comet will get put down and if it's between me finishing doing what I'm doing for the day and starting up the following day and I'm not read, I haven't read my comments people will comment in between you know and between me getting on for the next time to check comments to help each other out and I, I love that I think that's absolutely brilliant that the community within the, the comments section is helping people out nine times out of ten when people say about the animals not working someone will comment and say have you got the factories mod installed and the comment will come back yes I did I've taken it off it's now working again so despite the fact the factories packs did have some updates and some of the maps that take the factories packs have had updates there still seems to be some issues because as I've said before the factories mods the factories packs use the animal system to work so I think that's a million litres now so that will do for that Um, because obviously there's the factories pack, there's the factories pellet pack, and there's the seed factory. Uh, two of them are by ER Shabba, VSR Modding Sur, and one's by Vanquish 081, VSR Modding Sur. That's a lovely, lush area of grass. I need to get onto that. Because I'm really curious to see when, with that all mowed, and the new section, how much grass. And the last time I did all the mowing it came in about, was it about 2 million litres, something like that? My mind's gone blank. Come on, poplars, grow! It has been suggested to clear out the um, silage clamp that um, I could use the milling machine and uh, the one million litre trailer, which I could do, I could clear it a million litres at a time. In all honesty, I'm quite happy doing it, just using the loading wagon. So for anybody watching this, I think that's why I want to do the, the disclaimer at the start because if, you, if this is the first time you've seen my channel, this series, you know, you might have watched some of my channel but not watched this series. I know, where am I going with this? That you might be watching thinking, oh, it's rubbish, she's not playing on console, it's playing on PC. Because I've got Eureka Farms on and I haven't got any of this stuff. And unfortunately, that's the reason why, right? because of the updates. So I, I felt the disclaimer was necessary. Where's my, oh, my lorry's doing the contract, isn't it? Uh... Will I get away with the pickup? We can try. I do love this thing. TLX 2020. Isn't it weird, Dan? Was it a couple of episodes ago? I could not for the life of me remember the name of it. I just completely blanked. So the rest of this will go into storage. Uh, the clips you saw at the start. Did I do clips at the start? I think I did. I'm thinking of my editing. Um... There are often a few days delay between videos as I'm doing these. Not because, as people seem to think, I'm focusing more now on my um, map tours and mod reviews. The two I'm doing at the moment here on Eureka Farms and my new Rasfet Let's Play, the prep time and setting up takes ages. <laughs> the contracts I've done between episodes on here took a long time. It just, it just takes a while, that's all. Um, I don't have a set schedule, I never have done. I know people aren't happy about that sometimes, but it's not something that's new. I've never, ever had a schedule. I know other YouTubers will put their schedule up start of the week and they will stick to that religiously. Unfortunately, I, I, you know, I can't. There's too much going on. You know, I don't want to let people down. If I say I'm going to do this on this day, then people then start saying you're lying and you're not, you know, you're not reliable and that kind of thing. Right, so this picks up from the right-hand side. And <laughs> I'm at... 500,000 litres already. 500,000 litres done. Boom. It's not going to take me long to empty that out. And then this will go into my main silos. My main silos, the Silo Wood by Omatana, each holding 10 million litres. Even that, that isn't it weird? I, I know I keep saying it, and I know I'm driving people up the wall, and I apologise for driving people up the wall. But the fact every time I come on here, I smile like an idiot. And the fact that when I say stuff like that, my mind still goes, what? Um, although those these silo wood, they're available in the base game. These aren't modded. These aren't, I say part of the map. I can't, I can't say that anymore. A lot of this stuff you won't be able to do. Sad times. Yeah, 10 million litres each. These hold of pretty much everything. So I've got 20, 20 million litres of storage. 
but that, the fact that in my head that's become kind of normal it's only when you say it out loud when I'm playing the game off camera and I'm setting stuff up and I'm prepping I'm doing harvest and getting fertilizing jobs done my mind's not thinking whoa you know it does every now and again oh yeah I bought a second fertilizer you can probably just see over in the background I bought a second fertilizer spreader that's the whole point if we're going to do it quickly let's do it really quickly I think I'm going to buy I've got enough money I'm going to get some cows oh yeah the factories as well sorry I'm kind of all over the place a bit of a scattergun approach today my mind's all over the place um, when I bought the factory for some reason I had in my head the factories were about 200,000 290 that was the um, cow barns the um, low oak cow husbandry buildings were 290 or 299 the factories were only 46 grand <laughs> So that's me thinking, I do loads and loads of contracts, I need 300,000 to buy the next factory, it was 46. So yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, I kind of got all this money together and did loads and loads of jobs and loads of contracts. So I think more cows, and I think I might buy a fourth harvester. I can have six workers running, so if I'm going to speed up doing these harvest contracts and fertilising contracts, if I get a fertilising contract on field four, it's about 90 grand. It takes a while. It's a big field, but 90 grand. Right, I'm going to empty the rest of this off camera. You've just seen me do it once. Let's get another 500,000 litres. We'll get all the silage off there, off there, out of there. I think selling a million litres is right. Or should I split it in half and do two million litres to the biogas plant and two million into storage. Am I going to regret that if I need silage for making total mix ration? Oh, I can always cut more grass and put more in, can't I? Of course I can. Yeah, so this is one of those maps. It doesn't take up a huge amount of space either. The megabyte download on your farms wasn't that big. So, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately for me, but if you haven't previously had this installed it's not going to help you much but for me and I know a lot of people have come in to say the same thing I might just leave it just leave it sat there because I know I can always come on and if I need to scratch that itch if I want to do some crazy stuff for a little while I know I can another 500,000 <laughs> oh dear see you just need it every now and again you just need to smile and grin and giggle like a child I, I'm finding it very very whoa yeah this is why I need a lorry or a tractor for doing this although it is faster getting across the map using the TLX it gets a little bit wobbly here and there um, yeah it's very very therapeutic It's 12.55, the bunker silo is empty, 4.3 million litres cleared. What I ended up doing was I went back over with the um, telehandler and the extra, the 300,000 litres, 290 odd thousand, went into the, the bunker, uh, into the biogas plant to be sold and then the 3 million came over here into storage. What I have done as well off camera uh, while that was all happening, I have preempted the poplars being ready by leasing the Crone Big X 1180. This is one specific to your rig farms, the dual trailer one, which means it will hook up to pretty much anything. This header, also a Eureka Farms one. I, I want to still show it all off and I want to still say how cool it all is, but I feel really bad. I, you know, it's that weird conflict now that when I spoke to TN, uh, TNT and he said that, you know, I hope you want to carry on doing the, the, the Let's Play. And I do, because like I've said before, I haven't on any of my Let's Plays gone so big with so much stuff ever. I've, I've never, you know, I've never run two large fertilizer spreaders. I've done three harvesters before, but I'm thinking of getting a fourth. I've never run four. I've never run four in a Let's Play. You can have six workers working. I've never run four because with regular harvesters, uh, you can't keep up with them because they fill up so quickly. If you're out with a lorry or an auger wagon, if you have 
more than three running, sometimes more than two, depending on what you're harvesting, and you've got to cart off to different locations, um, you can't keep up. Because they're 500,000 litres each, they're not going to fill up. Whatever field you do, three harvesters running, and then if you add a fourth on, they're never going to fill up before the harvest is done. And then having on this map, having a 500,000 litre capacity, 500,000 litre capacity loading wagon, five, a 1 million litre trailer, there's also a 1 million litre pace setter as well, you know that you're only going to have to unload those once and then go off to sell it. So you're not backwards and forwards to sell points. So it changes the way you, you do things and it adds more scope for doing some crazy stuff. Now this header, well that's a corn silage header, isn't it? On here, there's an extra one. And this is a poplar header. A 9 metre poplar header. It's not a bonkers one, it's not 50 metres or anything like that, but the fact it's a 9 metre and it does poplars, coupled with that forage harvester with a dual trailer attacher, which means I can put any trailer I want on the back. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with the dolly and the 1 million litre trailer. I can keep harvesting poplars, my mat, my sea of poplars, um, until I've got a million litres. And again, your head goes, what? But then I know that anybody that hadn't already downloaded this map and is now thinking oh I want to download it won't have access to it I, I honestly I, and that's not that's not disingenuous I honestly genuinely mean that I feel awful oh I bought a second mower <laughs> I'm thinking, I've been spending my money as you can see it's gone down to 977 I've got a second chrome big M I've been kind of inspired a bit by watching Mike Mitchell <laughs> If you don't watch Mike Mitchell already, watch him. Saskatchewan farmer. I say, yeah, farming on a scale I've never seen before. And thank you to everyone. Last time I mentioned Mike Mitchell, all the people that um, sent me links and stuff to other big farm farmers, you know. Um, and it's I've always done this with, with my, like as you can see, with my harvesters. All like perfectly lined up. I thought that was just me. And then I watched Mike Mitchell, and they've got like six, six or eight harvesters, six harvesters lined up, perfectly lined up. Um, all their cedars lined up, everything, you know. It's incredible, the scale. So just to be able to come onto the map and see, you know, I've, I've never run three braid elves, not one six fives, two with fertilizer, one with lime. Just never done it before. Uh, did I mention I bought another 100 cows? I did that as well. I bought another 100 cows. Uh, so if we look into this menu here and go down, we're now at 203 there. We've had 16 new births in that one, three new births in that one. So it was a good idea to separate them out because otherwise we wouldn't have got those, got those, what, 19 new ones. That will continue. So the 100 I moved out of that pasture into that one, I've now added another 100 in. Again, and that means I'm out to 619 cows. I've never done that many on a Let's Play. Now, there will be people out there saying, oh, I've done thousands before. I'm just saying, me personally, on any of the Let's Plays I've ever done, I think Stone Valley was the closest. I think I got up to 500 and... I want to say 530-something. could have been 560-something. Um, I've never gone above that. That's the biggest I've ever done till this point, and that is one of my targets on here is to get to 1,000 cows. But obviously the consumption of those thousand cows is huge and that's why i'm doing the big farming massive um silage like i just did then i've just put three million liters of silage into here i've got over eight million liters of straw um and the hay is going to be the next thing the next big cut is all going to be hay that will all come into here i need multi millions of everything to keep a thousand cows going that's just the way things are so, with all that being said, um, I'm still waiting on the poplars. Do I bite the bullet and just get another? Shall I just go mad in this episode and just get? Shall I, having just bought another mower, at least that, I'd already bought a new fertilizer. So I'm thinking either a new lorry to get a second lorry truck, another Roadrunner plus plus because I really like that, or do I go for a fourth harvester? I suppose time will tell at midnight when we get paid at the biogas plant. If we get a huge chunk of money, that will pay for one or other. Well, maybe not quite. Actually, what is the biogas plant? I think it's one thing on here that surprised me 
was the biogas plant considering everything is bonkers and big and and mad and you know all a little bit crazy and now the processing speed of the biogas plant i think oh yeah 360 i was really expecting in my head for some reason that the payments would be up there as well would be a little bit crazy too um so at 360 i've just sold 1.3 million yeah it's not going to be not going to be 500,000 is it at 500 it would have been well, it would have been a bit more, but um, somewhere around there. We may have enough to do one or the other. Or do I just do it now and then say that I'll just recover the money by doing contracts later on? Maybe I've bought enough. Or am I just being too cautious? Oh, I wish I could just make a decision. Um, right. Let's park that up. Um, what I often do now, like I said, this one here has well, hasn't any more, but has got the dual thingy. Uh, if we go along to the ones that are on here, again, if you if you're new onto this, you won't have these options here. Uh, yeah, the dual trailer, which means it'll hook up to anything. What I normally do is on these ones, on the standard in-game ones, I will use. I think it's a mod. I've, it's quite an early on mod as well. Yeah, that one. The Flegel Dolly. Most of the dollies are a, a ball hitch. Um, that one is a pin hitch. And I swear by that. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I can't remember who makes it. It'll be under dollies. Uh, but the Flegel Dolly has got a pin hitch. And that will hook up to, I think, any of those. I'm pretty sure I've used it on all the forage harvesters available. And then you can run a semi-trailer off the back of it if you want to. That's what I've done before. If you want to go down that route, you don't have to. But that's what I'm going to do with this one, I think. Because I'm going to hook it up to that semi-trailer. That's the plan. Uh, what I might do now is speed up time a little bit. Because I want to do these poplars. Um, oh no, I've got to sort out. What do I need to do? Water, total mix ration. Oh, grass. I haven't got any grass. That's the other thing, I need to do a massive cut of grass. So I need to do one of hay, one of grass, all goes into storage. Then I should be enough then to keep me going for quite a while moving forward. But that's going to be two days worth. One cut will be for hay. Then the following day, once it's all regrown again, it'll be another cut for, for grass, I think. Or should I do it the other way around? Oh, I'll make a decision in a minute. Um, right. Let's go with that. Atomics ration. How much do I have on hand? One, that's 1 1.3 million, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Really sure it is. It can't be 137,000. That's that. There's no way that's all I've got in there. <laughs> there's no way. If there is something's gone horribly wrong, uh, well, there's nothing that shows TMR, is there? No. Okay. Well, the money has gone down a bit more. I did buy a second lorry truck. Um, I've got another Roadrunner Plus Plus. I've gone for a red one this time. So I've got satin green, satin red. At least that way I know them apart if they're in different parts of the map. But the poplars are ready. And as you can see, an absolute carpet. I know I keep referring to it as that. But rather than the usual straight rows, if you watch me seed these, again, I used something from here that you can't do anymore. Uh, but I had got the dolly, I've got that attached to the trailer, 9 metre poplar header, in inverted commas. Let's start it up. I do have access to this that land though. Fingers crossed this works. Oh yes. Oh yes. So like I said, whilst this isn't a, a mega wide header, 
as I've kind of you kind of get used to on Eureka Farms, you know, 50 metre wide sugarcane headers, that kind of thing. Because this is an absolute mat of um, poplars. The wood chips coming off it, the rate's going to be high anyway. The largest header is usually is it, is it three, I want to say three metres. We recently had that one, the fold bar, that was six metres that I used on six ashes. So on here, this one being nine metres is amazing. I know I'm still going to be inundated with comments. I know people will... Again, I, I, I'm assuming people watch with the um, volume off or down or I don't know, or they just don't like the sound of my voice. <laughs> or they, they just tune it out, you know. It's something I managed to do years ago, having five kids, when they're all little. I used to read a huge amount. And uh, to be able to just sit and read a book when the, the, there was just turmoil around the house, I just kind of got used to it. So then when I started to work in the school, and on my lunch break I would sit and read a book, you know. And um, people say, how, how could you, you know, there's this is whirlwind of activity going on. How can you relax enough to read a book? I said, I've just got used to doing it. I just sort of switch it off. So I guess people do the same thing. Because um, I, I know people will be asking me, or they were saying, where do I find this mod? How do I get that large capacity trailer? For those of you that... that are on board and understand and you're getting fed up with me reiterating myself over and over again and keep saying I shouldn't need to and that kind of thing you know sometimes you do have to and there's nothing wrong with you I'm not hurting anyone by saying it again oh this is going to be awesome it seems it seems like ages I've been waiting for the poplars to be ready that initial when I planted them of not getting anything on the ground initially thinking okay something's wrong you know whereas normally when you put your poplars down you get your neat rows that go down and you've got your little uh, shoots kind of sticking out the ground the poplars are there great have been planted doing it on here being able to plant with a regular cedar on such a huge scale and then nothing being in the ground and panicking and thinking okay something's not right here because it was using regular cedar dynamics but putting down a crop that it doesn't normally do then they finally started to grow they think brilliant okay this is going to work and it just seems to take forever for them to be ready to harvest you know but the great thing with this is it means i can now when i unload this it can go uh, into my new factory to do laminate boards which I don't think I've done before, other than a test when the, the mods, the factory's mods kind of first appeared. Yeah, pretty sure I haven't. This is crazy. But on, on the scale of things normally, taking away the Eureka Farm side of things, this would be considered you know, ultra quick anyway. It's still going to take a while. I think I may have, I may have put too much on the field. I think in my head I was thinking along the lines of sugar cane, because the sugar cane on here on field seven was the same. It was just a thick mat of sugar cane, and because on here the sugar cane harvester that was added in went out to 50 meters. It was harvested in absolutely no time. So when I put the poplars down, I was, I was in my head thinking the same thing. Thinking, oh, you know, be a thick mat of poplars, it won't take me five minutes to harvest. Not quite the case. I have a fertilising contract ongoing on field one. That shouldn't take too long. I have then got, I believe, some more uh, have popped up on fields that have just got ready. Because this suddenly became ready. We've gone into a new cycle. Yeah, field 6, field 2, field 11. And we roll around again. I suppose the next one, other than getting another harvester, which I'm considering, I could I could get another big cedar. Now I've got a second lorry. Another big cedar might be quite cool. That's, quite, that, that's a pricey proposition. I mean, all in, I think that's about... I want to say about 700,000. The big Borgo seed drills are, are, I'm sure they're about 400 grand each, aren't they? Let me just check that. I'm sure they're they're up there, aren't they? 
Um, yeah, 430 grand. <laughs> then the seed cart's 331, so yeah, 760, 762. That's the next big investment, though, I guess. Another, another seeder. So when I get sewing contracts pop up. So we've already gone way past what a regular trailer can hold in game. 105 is the largest we've got on console. I, I keep saying that. I can't remember who it's by. Mine's gone blank. But anyway, yeah. We've got a few nice large capacity things at the moment. Now I'm pretty sure to get the laminate boards underway it's not going to take much, is it? I'm just trying to swing around without catching the trailer. I'll come back in a bit. There we go. Um... I'm sure it's only about 100,000 litres or something, isn't it? The laminate boards factory takes. It's weird because some of them seem to take 100,000. Some took way more. I know when I did the, when they came out, I was kind of looking at them as, on mod reviews, and they seem to all be slightly different. I have only got the um, the factories placeable factories pack. I haven't got the pellet one, and I haven't got the seed factory one installed. I, I've only got the one. Right, one loop round, over 150,000 litres. <laughs> We're not going to get so much off of this. Oh, it's brilliant. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. Give me a little while. We'll see how much we end up with. I don't reckon we'll go over a million litres. I reckon we might, you know. We shall see. Nearly quarter past six, we hit the million. We haven't got a huge amount of field left to go, but we've got a million litres in the trailer. What I'm going to do is, let's get the laminate boards up and running. That means reversing. Oh, oh no. Reversing with a dolly, swivel axle, nonsense. Uh, money has gone up again. Contracts. Uh, for all the fertilising which I showed earlier, I've done them all so all those fields have now been done I am curious to see how much we're going to make uh, overnight now, again, if you're new to the factories thing, I know a few people asked about factories again the other day they couldn't get stuff to go into them you need to go around to the side and activate it so this bit here, at this door right here if I click on that, it brings up the animal pen sort of menu, animal dealer. If I press move and then confirm, that now means the factory is operational. It's up and running. So it should now allow me to put the uh, wood chips in to start our laminate boards. <laughs> For all you guys that love reversing these trailers. Whenever I mention it, people are like, oh, it's easy. I don't doubt anything anywhere in the world is easy with enough practice and a, the right skill level. Oh, I don't know. Actually, you know what? I'll take that. Let's switch to that. 
that's how many wood chips it will actually take anything it doesn't take i will put into storage i'll collect the rest of the field i am respraying field seven so the poppers can grow again what was that uh Hundred and twenty thousand litres. Okay. Productive productivity will change in a little while and we will be creating boards. So we've got sugar on the go, we'll have boards on the go. And we'll see what happens with regard to um sunflower. When we get sunflowers going, we'll do some sunflower oil. Then potentially I've got a load of potatoes. If we get sunflower oil going, we can then do the, the potato chips. Because we'll have sunflower oil and potatoes, we could do a potato chip factory. So, yeah, I don't know, we could expand this, have a little whole little empire. As I said before, I'm just I'm just enjoying it. I'm having a great old time. It's fantastic. Look at it. I love my new lorry. I'm gonna keep calling it a lorry just because I'm just because I'm English, British. Exact replica of the other one, just different colour, that's all. Gives me a bit more scope for operations moving forward. And with that, we have come to the end of another episode. Tune in next time to find out how much we made overnight by selling at the biogas plant. And obviously we've got mowing to do. I'm curious to see how much grass we're going to get off the new massive um, expanse. Um... Yeah, there's more to come. I, I'm I'm looking forward to expanding this further. See where we end up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>